Hi everyone, my name's Matt and welcome to the School Doggery YouTube channel. Welcome back if you've been here before. Today we're going to do one of our TikTok companion videos. Over on TikTok you'll find great little videos of Freddy doing all the things that he enjoys out and about in the world. Over here on YouTube we're going to do a companion series detailing the training that we used to make him such a calm, confident, happy boy in any situation. So let's dive in and get straight to it. On TikTok, we are at School Doggery, and the one that we're going to do first is called Freddy's Little Adventure in Gimbal Land. First of all, let's just watch it all the way through and just enjoy him being such a handsome young dog. Okay, so there are lots of things that we can go through there. There's lots of work that we've put in to make sure that going for a walk with Freddy is such a fun and enjoyable experience. We didn't want a dog that was going to be pulling around on the lead, running off down the street, causing all kinds of problems. We wanted a dog that we know we could take anywhere and have it be such a good boy. So let's get straight into it. I'll turn the music off on here because that whistling, we don't want to be listening to that the whole time. So here we go. So here we are coming out the front of our house. Now, right away there, sitting at the front door, such a handy thing to instill into your dog is the ability to, when that front door is open, not give in to the urge to run off and see what's out there. Is there another dog that's around? Is there some, it's something I can play with? Have, being able to have the front door open and your dog sit there and know that they are not going to get out until you let them out is an incredibly safe thing to have you to teach your dog. The way we do it is by every time he gets to an external threshold, so that's out the front door, out the back door, every single time we have him sit and look up to us and then when we're happy, let him through. It can become such an ingrained part of your day that you don't even think about it. It's just an automatic thing and it's a safety precaution like you would take with so many other things. When you get in a car you put your seatbelt on. When you open your front door your dog should not go out of that front door until you're ready for him to go. Just because they're puppies it doesn't matter. You've got to control the situation. You've got to make sure that there is no opportunity while you can't trust them for them to get out of that front door. If you put the work in early on, it will reap so many rewards later on in life. And let's keep going. Right, so he's going out the door. Look at her little face. Right, I'm gonna stop again right here, just before, on a nice little picture of his little pupper butt. So I just want to touch on the gentle leader here. Some trainers will say that it's abdicating responsibility and relying on a crutch and all of these kind of things to try and make you think that there's only the right way to, the, um, to walk your dog. 
my wife has reduced uh, strength in her hand. We needed a solution where she could take the dog for a walk as much as I can. And the gentle leader was that solution for us. Everybody should attempt to walk their dog normally on a collar. That is by far the best way of doing it. But if you have mobility problems or if you have strength problems, things like gentle leaders and halty collars to a point, but halties ride up a bit more. It gives you the confidence to go out into the world with no fear that if they're gonna pull on the lead or do anything that happens when you've got a young dog in training, um, then things such as the gentle leader are absolutely amazing for helping that. So we will always advocate for them here. Uh, but it has been amazing for my wife to be able to utilize the gentle leader and explore with him just as much as I do. And she loves taking Freddy for a walk. So let's get back to watching his little pup a butt as it walks down the road. Yeah, there he goes, wiggling away. Oh, I love his little face. Right, so there, curb manners. Curb manners is, works on the same threshold as door manners. Whenever you come to a curb, if you can, it's best to have your dog sit and look up to you and go, is it safe to cross the road? They don't know. They aren't, can't judge how fast things are coming from different directions. But what they can judge is what you think about it. So when you get to a curb, having your dog sit, look up to you and going, is it all right? Are we going to go? No, okay, fine. I'll just wait here until you're ready to go. You ready to go? All right, off we go. No stress, no need to worry because mum's got it. She's got it. She knows what she's doing. She'll take control. She'll lead the situation. Right, let's keep going. So there he's got a stick in his mouth. We don't normally let him carry sticks in his mouth. He does look adorable when he's carrying things though. Yeah. So here, he's been let off the lead in the park. Something that we love to do. We love giving him the chance to have a run round, have a snoot, see what he can do. But like everything, before he's allowed to go off and run around and do what he wants and see what's over there and see who's over there, he's not allowed to go until he's given permission. This is just so that we can have that one last check that everything's all right nearby. If there's a family having a picnic that we've only just noticed as we're taking his lead off, then mm, sorry, buddy, you're not going off the lead. That we, we can't trust you fully in that situation, so we need to control that situation. Just a nice, calm, sit and stay, kind of a, it's all right, mate, I'm, I'm waiting for you. You let me know when it's all good, and then I'm gonna go, you see, you see how far I'm gonna run. So uh, let's watch him have a bit of an explore. And his little face. Oh, and their muscles. So he is a staffy, but he's not 100% a staffy. There's a bit of a cross in his background. Um, we'll get into that in another video another day. Uh, there he is just... So every time we walk down this path here, he has to jump on those pebbles. Get young puppies into as many different tactile situations as possible. So you can see he's starting to pant because he's a little bit tired. This Again, as we come through the front door, sit, stay, wait for us to let you know that it's all right to come in. Um, not rushing into the house, off on his own. Uh, and then once he gets into the hallway, same deal again. Sit, wait for his collars to come off. And then once it comes off, have a quick bit of a shake. Let some of that energy out and off he goes gets himself a drink and then has a chill out on the coldest bit of the floor that he can find behind the sofa. Uh, and that's it, a, a 20 minute walk in the evening, a 20 minute walk in the morning. He will then snooze with you for the rest of the day. And oh, he's adorable. So there we go. That's the breakdown of all the things that went into that TikTok video. Hopefully you found something interesting. Hopefully you found something useful in there. If there's anything that you want us to cover, anything that you want us to do with Freddy and anything that you want to learn about to do with puppies, please let us know in the comments. Come and find us on TikTok. Come and find us on Instagram. Hopefully we'll see you back here soon.